<laughs> okay. Um, so you you actually got in just on the on the perfect time because we're just getting ready to start, and uh, we're just yeah, and we're we're just going over what happened uh, on the previous episode. Um, taking down Frog, how you guys gained so much heat, um, how, how Nugi is under, uh, well, Maloko is under suspicion, um, or not suspicion, excuse me, he's under investigation. Oh, yeah. Um, right. Yeah, you're, you're suspended pending in, investigation. You know, like, leave with the pay, like, you yeah, know, you uh, got... officers would get. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, he got Bruce Willis in yeah. every Die Hard movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're a loose cannon, Maloko, yeah. turning your badge yeah. and gun. <laughs> And, and then some, inevitably something bad's going to happen. They're going to call you back, right? And be like, God damn it. <laughs> At some point, I need to say, I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I, if you, I figure you've already said that like five times. Just I, feel, I don't think I've actually said it. I feel like that should be like a playbook experience thing for you, right? It's like, if you ever get in a moment where you can actually say that, and we all agree that it's really good, and, and <laughs> apt, you get experience. Like, <laughs> Justified like expressing my background. Like Right. Yeah, exactly. It justifies your your background and belief. Yeah. <laughs> nice, awesome. I'm okay with this. This is so, um, yeah, uh, I was looking. I was trying to figure out how much rep you guys would get from the score. Um, I don't. That's like about. Can someone, uh, <laughs> someone played last session? Could you fill me in in actually what happened? Which oh yeah. Happened? Yeah, it's been a hot time. Yeah, it's Last been a... time I left, we were in downtime, and I was pissed off because of Ironborn, because, you know, he's a thing, and, you know, Nerix and all that kind of shit. We took out uh, What's-A-Face um, to be able to get the other What's-A-Face on our side. I can't remember names. I'm really bad. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we basically, we took out the charity woman to be able to get a... Oh, yeah. Not reconciled, like someone who's hunting the reconciled. Grimes. Oh, yeah. Grimes. Grimes. yeah. You got a you got a whisper on your team now. Grimes. Yeah, that's yeah. it. So so we did a bunch of bad stuff. Um I acted like I was nice to this woman and then we backstabbed her immediately and I yeah. felt really shit about myself. <laughs> yeah. So we did that. Um and then so we now have this whisper on our team. What happened after that? Because I have not played for like a session yeah. or session and a half or whatever you missed um, um you missed like one of the craziest sessions we've had nope. in terms of, of I, I believe that i went back and i watched the vod about yeah. you guys doing some crazy assassination mission. yeah that's fucking um, it was but, incredible uh, and it's like old maloko is just like this old geezer who kills shit yeah so, they, they both did and you guys are both incredibly badass but that's all I remember. Is all I remember is that both of you were badass as fuck. Right? Sorry, you're yeah. shouting. Talk. All right, sorry. Not shout. All right, I apologize. Yeah. Stop being so excited, bro. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> so, um... so, what I remember from watching the pod is that both of you are badass, but I can't remember exactly what you actually did. <laughs> uh, can I? I'll leave it to to Nugi and and John to explain. Yeah. Um, well, give me a rundown of the last session. I was for the first hour, so I will leave that one to John. Basically, Link had a meeting with a couple of his rage buddies to find out about Kotar, um, and he has some connection to the machine we're building because Kotar is the name that. Grimes told us to like research, so Blink's, yeah, uh, right. And then um, basically, he was able to talk to one of the higher ups, and they said, "Hey, something about like they gave a bunch of information about Kota himself, how he was supposed to ascend to being a god before the cataclysm, but didn't." And uh, there's a bunch of rumors about him of how strong he can be. Yeah. And so who exactly is Kotar? Have you seen yeah, the Mummy? It? The movie The Mummy? <laughs> it's basically that. I've seen The Mummy. I'm not gonna lie. I watched The Mummy recently, and I've been stealing pretty heavily from it. <laughs> well, which one, though? You see how The Mummy comes back? Oh, the, the original. Like, Brendan yeah. Fraser, Mummy. Yeah, you, you know how The Mummy comes back after being dead for ages? That's Kotar. 
Okay, all right. right. But he's not alive yet. It's just yeah, possible. He's not alive so yet. Kotar possible. is not alive. So who is Kotar? Why do we want to bring him back? I don't know. We're finding that out. You don't. Think, You're just finding his artifacts around. Yeah, uh, something something that John was... Got free, he's got three artifacts, right? Yeah. Um, the Reefs have be that basically said how um, they are charged with protecting them. Right. So they're in the wrong hands. But they only have one of them. They know the location of another, but one is lost. Yeah. And um, I forget why exactly they wanted... Base, and and yeah, the other the other thing that the that was glossed over was um the circle of flame are like all about that shit, and they're trying to yeah. get that stuff from them. They're basically like the villains of Indiana Jones, right? Like mm. they are, you know, they're the Nazis. They're like twirling their mustaches, like yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, just, I will, I will take. You know, uh, this does not belong in a museum. This belongs to me. You know, right? And this is uh, which organization? Sorry, that's the circle of flame. Circle of flame. All right, they're like oh, uh, esoteric, mm -hmm. militaristic. Uh, you know, uh, antiquarian society who who okay. steal stuff for private collections and are super into like occult artifact stuff. So basically, okay. they're, so they're like, like give me what? all the power and yeah, power right, power. yeah, exactly. Although we're, del although we're delusional, we shall be all powerful. Oh yeah, so yeah right. The, the race were pretty much like, hey, kill this guy for us, and we'll tell you more. Yeah. That's so it. who did you kill last session? Corrupt the inspector. They killed the inspector who's responsible for covering over all of the six towers. Oh um, shit! So, so the, um, something that I guess I kind of yeah, I kind of made this up that um, certain inspectors oh. are like not chief inspectors but like district inspectors, and um, yeah, like you know he has like people under him and that kind of stuff. And this guy was kind of like, like lead inspector yeah, this, uh, exactly, and this and he was like super corrupt. Uh, in in six oh, hours, um, and, and you killed him. Yeah, in the middle of a <laughs> and, and in the middle of a gang I, war. I, I, like, I didn't even want to kill him. I like <laughs> to kill him. Got really annoyed at him. It was like, what the fuck? You Why killed him like me? instantly. Yeah, yeah. then he pulled his guns on me. Yeah. Well, so far you guys, your thing is kind of like. Uh, killing people and then feeling bad about it, right? <laughs> so yeah. you guys are just so goddamn good at rolling sixes, and you're oh, really good. So many yeah. sixes. You're you're so you know good at rolling funny? sixes, and then is I could have rolled it if I like I had to roll a d six. If I had to roll a d six in one of the campaigns that I run, I would like legit get a one every yeah. single time. That's how I am with my games, dude. I just I suck at. Rolling. I can't deal with it. Yeah, I, I <laughs> but. Even more so than just rolling a six, you guys are very good at setting up situations where I give things to you because you like, yeah, it makes sense. Like you, you did this work. Like you, yeah, you were, you were. Not only did you roll a six to get stealthy, then you rolled a six to attack it. You know what I mean? It's like you did, you did the work, and so like, mm -hmm. I, I gotta give it to you. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna steal that from you. I'm not gonna be like, oh, okay, he's half hit, he's half wounded now. You know, he's like half dead. It's like no, you just fucking drop down on a dude with some swords. Like he's dead. <laughs> just how I would like. You know, yeah, I would be like, okay, well, people are sneaking up on you on the rooftops and you don't see them. And here's a clock, right? Um, Fiction reality, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Fiction so, positioning. Wow. Yeah, I, I get. So I give you guys that stuff when, whenever I can. Um, I'm not so I'm not trying to be easy. Oh, okay. We lost. We just lost Storm. Um, oh. <laughs> well, when he comes back, then I'll fix the cameras. But um. Well, for now, we should figure out how much heat they got anyway. They got eight heat. Yeah, right. We got oh, eight. eight. Yeah, so is that, is that like crazy? Is that a, like a lot? If you get nine, uh, it, it's, it's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's really really high. Oh, okay. Um, if you got any more, I you guys cleared out all your heat last like the last one. If you would have got nine heat, uh, you would immediately go to a wanted level. Oh, did we clear all of our heat last level, or what's the heat on now? No, oh, he clearly like, no, we're going to do this next session. You, you cleared all the yeah. heat last time, but uh, this one you have eight heat now. You're one heat yeah. away from getting a wanted level. You need to do the downtime. We're on eight down. heat. We're on eight heat. Yes. Yeah. You're okay, eight out of nine. Four of us. Yeah. And I've said that five times. Like, heat reduction action is what, like, minus two? Depending on how good you roll. Well, there's some things you can do to fix this here. So, I believe that out of the four of us, now that we have Fraser, what's that, dude? Mm -hmm. so, um, so, dude, um, <laughs> I believe we can get rid of our heat and uh, continue on as uh, as planned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind, uh, yeah. So, so keep in mind that the vigilantes have an extra move 
Um, in, in terms of downtime stuff, they also have the ability to just do their normal job. As uh, in, like, coin. Per person? Yeah, so, like, if you needed to spend a downtime action, you can spend a downtime action to basically do your, your day-to-day job and so get I a could, coin. So I like, run my business and stuff. Yeah, like, and, and you earn a coin. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Ooh. Also, um, something good to remember, you can spend, excuse me, uh, you can spend rep or coin for an extra downtime action. So, yeah. If you have any leftover so what do I from the previous spend sport? coin and rep on downtime actions, uh, you can spend it to include, uh, you know, basically if you needed to buy something weird, um, not just like, yeah, you can spend it for like acquiring an asset. Um, you can spend okay. it on. Um, you spend co- well, especially as a vigilante, you can spend rep as coin. Uh, you basically can spend it any time to improve roles when it makes sense. So you can basically, if you want to. Uh, increase like a project clock, like like an extra tick on it and stuff like that. Um, okay. That's how you can spend it. Um, so I could spend coin on a project clock. Yeah, exactly. Are you gonna bribe me out of here? Yeah. Um. You basically, but you have to explain how you're using the coin. Like you're spending something that helps you get what you need to finish this project, right? Like if you're, you know, if you're bleeding out, it's like I'm gonna spend coin to go to the fucking nicest hospital, right, and get the fucking nice room. Yeah. And and like doctors who care about you instead of just the emergency, get a number, sit in line, right? You're I can mean. imagine that in this universe, <laughs> there's like a long list of people that are ready to be seen at the hospital anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, right now, uh, you know, you got, you got two down, everyone's got two downtime actions. Is that what we're picking up from now, right now? Yes. Okay. Also, you and... might... And... Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I was wondering, um, so part of this, um, consider, consider how, how we're going to incorporate uh, uh, Flint into our game, right? How, how Fraser could could maybe show up into our group. Um, so perhaps he, he perhaps he came up. Uh, what class are you playing, by the way, Fraser? Cutter. Cutter. He's Cutter. Cutter. And, he, and he works with a dog. Is, <laughs> it's just, it's like the Blades in the Dark equivalent of a warrior, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you came up as part of our crew and you showed potential, maybe. And we're like, I damn you. We don't Do we have, have a crew right now? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I swear like to God, we have a crew. And Grimes and Badger. That's it. We have Badger. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I feel well, like you're getting you close to it. Um, you know, you, you level close. up your you level up your your vigilante sheet. It, well, in that case, then mm-hmm. maybe Fraser should be the one convincing us that he should join us. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, you know, there's crew. Like, there's crew advancement, right? Like, you know that, right? There there is, is, and crew and I don't have the PDF for it. Oh, for vigilantes? Are we technically crew advancement level one? Uh, no, you guys are technically still tier tier zero. Tier zero, okay. Yeah, because you don't have. So a what is yet. what does tier one grant us? Um, it basically grants you a crew of about like five people or so. Um, and it also at what point do more, we actually get that level? Sure. Um. When you when you advance when you when your when your crew sheet advances, um, or when it fictionally for me when it doesn't fictionally make sense, um, you you guys are really close to it. In fact, I, I'm 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 on I'm considering just giving it to you for this time because about, I know I haven't really been tracking crew advancement and you guys have done like three heists now. And, what about you know the addition of uh, with the addition of Fraser? Maybe that bumps us up to like tier yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. And so let me let me just quickly describe what tiers do. There's uh, that stuff, by the way. That's crew advancement for vigilantes. Is it the bit that's uh, named under tier and turf? No, it's on the vigilante sheet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Under, under crew advancement. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah, that bit. <laughs> there, there, I, there, there's a link PDF. to the PDF if you don't already have it. Is it the um, original PDF, not the Vigilante's PDF? No, it, it's in it's the Vigilante's, the Vigilante's PDF. PDF. Yeah, it's. Uh, What's the uh, page title eight. of the page? It's Vigilante's. Yeah, page page eight. eight. Vigilante crew creation. No, it's it's uh, it's the one right below crew creation. So it's oh it's page yeah. nine. Oh, uh, so you see how there's crew advancement um, at the underneath special abilities. It says like you get this is when just how you get experience like if you were in a oh, blade sure. character you know weaken the weaken position the of a higher tier faction higher or antagonize faction. the okay. law protect those blue coats uh pl- protect those the blue coats can or will not help 
Uh, bolster your crew's reputation to develop a new one or yeah, contend yeah, yeah, with your yeah, challenges yeah. above your current station. You guys I have done that, that in spades. Um, so without, I would just, oh. I would just go ahead and mm. just retroactively grant you one. Plus with the advent, um, you know, the addition of, of, of Flint, um, you have a crew. Um, so, so, so do we, do we get to like expand? Cause obviously we've got a layer, right? Yeah. Um, do we get to like, at what point do we get to add an additional square? Like on that map. Oh, claims. Yeah. You can spend you can spend rep and coin for for claims. How much rep is it or coin to? <sighs> I knew you were gonna ask that, and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, let me see here. Well, no, it's super easy. I've got like a fair amount of rep right now, so I'm, totally. I'm, 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 I'm spending that stuff. <laughs> um. Well, see. as a crew, we've got seven rep. I don't know what you're talking about, personal rep. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Well, I'm a little. I'm slightly intoxicated. Leave me alone. All right. I'm looking at my character sheet. Shut up. See, I can't justify that because it's three in the morning. Yeah. 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 Three in the morning for you. I'm somewhat intoxicated, so um, we're on like an even level. I don't think that's how it works. I believe it is. Let's see, there's crew advancement. Um, stash and retirement, landing. payoff and entanglements, coin, NPC yeah, I see downtime. payoff and stuff, and then you would think what follows after payoff would be how to use rep, but... Yeah, I'm looking at crew nope. advancement as well. Nope, um, just mark 1 XP or 2 XP, just like normal. Oh, when you mark 8 crew advancement ticks, clear the ticks and get 2 crew upgrades or a new special ability. Um, in addition, each BC gets 1 coin as bonus payment. Uh, there's heat... Is that her character? Um... So you said like oh, here's each, claims. Um, upon um, eight uh, eight points of uh, experience, you can either take a special ability or a claim. Did you just say right? Yeah. Oh. No. No. You get so abilities you... for your crew as well. Storm. Um, <laughs> All right. So here we go. <laughs> Guys. So here's here's these are claims. These are how you do claims. I found it. All right. Um, so claims you cannot be cannot be bought. Because I'm an idiot, um, right? So this is how it works. Uh, each crew sheet has a map of claims available to be see uh, to be seized. Um, you know that's that's what we see in vigilantes, right? Um, yeah. You may attempt to seize any claim on your map, ignoring the paths, or even seek out a special claim not on your map. But these operations will always be especially difficult. Um, the claim roadmap shows typical paths for advancement, not an absolute restriction on your operation. Every claim in Dustfall is already controlled by a faction. To acquire one for yourself, you have to take it from someone else. To seize a claim, tell the GM which claim on your map your crew intends to capture. So you basically you do a mission for it. Okay, so, so I we, believe we, we captured one last time. We do It'd be cool if you guys did one of those missions and that's where I came in. Because I have like the idea of introducing my character kind of like fresh off the boat because he's like military from from another like place. Are you, are you maybe from like one of the Leviathans or something? Because they're effectively yeah. military in this place. I'm um I know I'm from like a different place. Uh, yeah, you're I'm from Scoville. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. He is. He's the so, same like the way did you did we not um, try and expand our territory last time I played? No. I swear to God, we were looking at it. No, we were looking we at what we would want it. to get, but we didn't actually do it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we were in downtime right now, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, you guys have yeah. a bunch of actions to do. We do. And my question so, is, yeah. do we want to do the investigation scene as a like downtime action role, as like a reduced heat? Or do you want to do that separately? I think we're better off to roll for reducing our heat. Well, yeah, no, like, obviously we are. But I'm just wondering if that's what um, Eric wants to do or if he wants that to be like something special. No, um, just describe how you're reducing heat and then we're good. I mean, you can speak to your inspector buddies, right? Well, well I mean, I have to. He's suspended. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's, no, no, I think... I think oh, I think um, no. Maybe this is part of your downtime is you clearing the investigation, and that's how it reduces heat on you. And like yeah, that's what I was all. wondering. Like yeah, you know, totally. Did we do that at the end of last session though? No, like, we did. Yeah. Interrogation. I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But that wasn't a reduced heat action. Mm. That w that happened. That was um one of us got like brought in, brought in air quotation marks, um, <laughs> and it made sense for me to. Be the one that brought in, got brought in. <laughs> Not the assassin. 
<laughs> so nobody knows you exist. I come for you. Don't worry. Yeah. So so um, how are you describing that you didn't have any involvement in that kind of stuff? And then go ahead and um. Do okay. Your, so do I don't your, think it's like um reduce heat. Like saying I don't have any involvement, but from the time he gets home, he opens up his like I don't know house or whatever the hell he lives. Goes to his like study, puts down a book, and it's like a blank book. He opens it up, and he starts writing like retroactively case notes about trying to take down Frog. Oh, okay. So it, when it comes time to get investigated, um, uh, it actually looks like he was doing work, and no, it was just not just trying to kill him. Side okay. question: Who the fuck is Frog? Frog's the guy we killed. That the was the inspector killed. guy. Oh. <laughs> side question. He doesn't uh, exist. That's yeah. <laughs> side question. His real name was Adric. Yeah. His real name was what? Adric. Yeah, Inspector Adric. Adric. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, and you guys killed him? Yep. Straight up fucking, uh, he got got real bad. And, Assassinated. <laughs> and he, he was an inspector. Yeah. Uh-huh. But he, Did, he was on the take. He was on the take, real bad. Like he was super into the. Um, he was profiting off the 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 current uh, gang war going on in Six Towers. Okay, so he was corrupt as hell. Yeah. Yes. And this what is district? Five times today, Storm. What like kind of rank did this guy hold? Was he like a? Did he look over? He was district? a district head. Holy <laughs> shit! Which district did he look over? Six Holy Towers. Holy shit! <laughs> I just heard six towers. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You forget oh. the conversation we've been having. <laughs> Are you in roll 20? Yeah, okay. I am. All right, you're in roll 20. Okay, cool. So so we're looking at this picture of this map, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, six towers <laughs> is is near the bottom. Here, it's, yeah, to, the, it's to the left. Okay, good. All right. That's that's where all the shit went down. Okay. okay. Yeah. The first time you were told about this, she was like, holy shit, he's part of the six towers. <laughs> And now you're like, what the shit? I was, I was sober when I first asked about this stuff, alright? I am nowhere near sober right now. You got drunk in 20 minutes. Right? <laughs> not in 20 minutes. I've been drinking since like 8 o'clock this morning. Just leave me alone, alright? I'm telling you, we talked about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I feel like that's the perfect amount of drinking required for, for playing a boy's character. So, I remember, okay, fine. So, so I think we know what Dex has been doing. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah. this is man. Dex <laughs> is a man of the finer tastes. I have been, like, sleeping with so many people and drinking <laughs> fine whiskeys and fine brandies and good old scotch, you know, black label kind of stuff. Um, that's what I've been doing in my downtime. I'm just yeah, relaxing, been... kicking back, getting drunk and shagging loads of sluts. That's, that's, my, that's my thing. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Uh I mean that sounds that sounds like Dex. It does. That's Dex pretty much all over like. <laughs> all right. Okay, so you took right. out the Hold on, I need I need Nuki to do the, the heat roll here. Yeah, okay. I just did it. Um reduce heat by 1 per result. So you got a 5. So you reduce heat by nice. 2. So we're down to nice. 6. Now, uh keep in mind you can spend coin or rep to to um Basically, bump that up. Uh, you can increase the result level by each coin spent. Um, I wouldn't. I'll I don't coin. think. I don't. Okay, cool. I, I was going to say that I don't think you should spend rep because rep's like pretty important as so, to yeah, yeah. how we level up. Here's something that I want to know. Here's something I want to know from you. Um, when you're spending coin, how are you spending the coin to help your case here? Mm-hmm. The coin is like retroactive. Like, it's not like I go out. And bribe a bunch of people. It, like, blink. Are you, are you just buying like a prettier? Uh, so um, yeah, are, are you like spending it for information bribing? that would be like useful for I don't know someone trying to uh, arrest this man, this now dead man. Okay, so you're spending it um, sort of like around town, like getting more information and clue, like stuff to f- flesh out your case. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't look like I'm just making this up on the spot. Sure. Okay. I mean, that's plenty of rope that could hang yourself later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with that. All right. That's why I'm. Yeah, uh, I'm sure you <laughs> are. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So that means that means you bumped it to three. So so now you have five heat. Yep. 
I'll take my second action later. Yeah. Who else wants to go right now? Uh, bear with me, and I'll allow someone else to go in front of me because I'm still reading stuff. I suppose I can go. Okay. Um, I was thinking maybe. I was thinking maybe um, that some maybe Flint could get on, involved with that though. But like when you're spreading the money around and like that kind of stuff, maybe um, I don't I know. Think... Maybe he finds out you guys did it or something. Yeah. Like, well, maybe I came he want, here. He wants a piece of it or something. Well, maybe I came here in the first place to track down because I'm here basically to track down Mercy, right? The the cold killer kind of thing, yeah. which ties into the vigilante thing. And maybe I was here to go talk to that inspector who's now dead. And then by him disseminating all this information around, I have like a clear path to go and talk to. Um, old Maloku. Yeah, old yeah. Maloku. And then via you guys kind of thing. Okay. And, yeah. I, and he's kind of like, of course he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Maybe maybe we see that in like in uh, around someone's second downtime action. But John, so I I have I still have um, queries. So so where do we stand yeah. right now? Because I've missed a couple of sessions. Where do we stand with um, Ulf Ironborn and Nyrix? Same place. Nyrix is before. dead. So Nyrix is Nyrix is still dead, and Ulf Ironborn has gone <clears throat> untouched with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Of course, we did something else. We literally one session. Yo, you do you handle your personal vendettas on your own time, dog. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm I'm thinking because like all I can do is gather information, right? Regarding Nyrix and uh, Alpha I'm Born, all I can do is gather information. Yeah, or like, that's not true. Yeah. You can yeah, you can gather an asset. You could train. You can do a bunch of stuff. You could produce or heat. Is there see? any other information that I don't already know about this situation that I can gather? Oh, yeah, there's plenty. There's always information to gather, man. Okay, in that case, I want to gather information upon the situation regarding uh, um, Nyrix and Alpha I Am Born. And last time I, I did this, I spoke to um, Madame Thessalon. Sullivan? Is that her name? Oh, um, yeah, I know you're talking about. She she runs a she's a she runs a bo she's, uh, brothel. She runs the whorehouse, right? Yeah, uh, she... Tess Tesselin. There we go. Um, so I spoke to her last time, and maybe this time I want to actually approach one of the guards surrounding Old Fireborn's um, uh, area. I, I'm not I'm not sure how to call it. Like maybe his. Does Alpha Ironborn have like a fortress it's or like tough. a head That's fortress? a fortress. No, nah, dude, he's like um No, nah, he's he's he like sleeps at like a like a shitty inn. Like, you know, he doesn't he doesn't have a lot of weight to throw around. Like, he doesn't have a crew yet. Yeah. Okay. So far. But I guarantee uh, well, not I guarantee, sorry. Um I presume that as a character I wouldn't specifically know this, right? No. So I want to ask around as to the whereabouts of Elf himself. And I presume that I ask around and I eventually find out that he's staying at a certain place. Um, well, how does gather information work? Don't you make a roll? I believe I do in downtime. I would have to make oh. a luck. Not luck. Uh, I'm not well, sure. It depends on. You, have, you get to decide what, um, what you're doing, but like what kind of role? And then I determine the effect and consequences and stuff. So the way that I would do it is I would actually speak to the people. Um, like, so I would speak to one person and find out information, and then speak to that person that they led me on to, and then speak to the next person and like continue, continue, continue. Um, so I presume that it would be like some sort of consort where. Yeah, you're, I just, you're consorting, uh, but you don't know the people you're going to consort with. So there's some I, risk involved with that. So there's more like sway opposed to consort. No, um, no, your 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 consort will, will work. It's just I would say it's standard effect, um, okay. and the obvious risks would be either takes longer than you think, um, or maybe something like uh, you it falls under the ears of people who who maybe work for him or like you know 
that kind of okay. thing. Okay. Or well, like, I would like to roll consort to be able to try and find the exact whereabouts of of Ironborn. Yeah, that's that's totally fine. Like I said, that's a risky standard thing. Um, and I, I got totally five. left raw twenty by mistake. So yep. nice, nice. You got a five. Okay, I rolled a five. Okay, so that means you succeed. Um, you get what you want, but there's a slight hang up. Um, does it make sense that it? It's not a problem if it takes more time. Um, I I suppose it could be if we have like other things to attend to. It could be taking up more time than I wanted to. Oh, okay. Here's what you we find really out. really need to get rid of. Ooh. No, here's oh. a snag. Here's oh, the snag. Um, he is... Ulf, Ulf is running with... Um, Ulf seems to be getting kind of close with a an, another crew. Oh, shit. That's what, you learn, you learn that he's... Um, you, you learn that he's staying at a, um... Uh, I mentioned these guys in the very first episode. I don't remember the name of them. The something Nails? The Grey Nails? Something like that? Yeah. Silver Nails? Silver Nails. Something um, like they're the, uh, they're like a Scovelin, um, group yeah. that, like, hunt on horseback, like, against ghosts. Um, they're, he's, like, getting in with them. Okay. They were, they so were the, it. um, remember, those, they were the guards on, on the ship. If you remember, so they were the guards that were on the um, the Leviathan Hunter. Yeah, ship? yeah. Which is whilst the whole art auction was going down. Yeah, he's okay. like getting in with them. He's getting in with them, and he's staying with them as well. Uh, right now, yeah, he's being put up in a in a place on their turf. Okay. Um, I mean, you you know the name of it. It's probably something like like the Leaky Bucket or something. Yeah. Leaky bucket. Like, yeah. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. The silver or, nails. Yeah, I just. Maybe it, let's nails. throw back to like Harry Potter and do like Leaky Cauldron. Yeah. <laughs> it's in Diagon Alley. <laughs> the, the silver nails are Legit, a company though. of Severosi mercenaries turned to crime when the war for Scovelin unity ended. Reuni renowned ghost killers. Renowned ghost killers. My bad. Yeah. That crew. Okay, um, cool. Eric, so he's it, hanging out with them. When the, I think I've got it. So whenever it comes around to me, I, I'm pretty sure I got this shit now. Okay. All right. Well, that was my first downtime action. So I gathered that that information. That's fine yeah. with me. Okay. All right, Fraser. Yeah. What's up? So I think I think like what would be really fun is like we we open on like a, a port. And it has like the the like a whistle from like the boats and stuff, and then we see like the a corn, rucksack, yeah. yeah, like fog, and then on the dock we see like a rucksack hit it, and then you see um, the words uh, Liam Cobb, and then in the middle it'll say like GTF two for like the paramilitary force that's in Canada because we're just the coolest, and. Um, <laughs> Then you see like a boot hit the deck beside it, and then it like pans up to to like view the actual character. And I basically just have him look like uh, Tyler Durden kind of thing, like chiseled features and like really um, pretty much like jacked but slim build. And then he's got like suspenders on underneath with like a, a jacket over top, so it's kind of like a weird eclectic sure. kind of thing going on. What's the quality and of work? What's like the quality of wear? Like, do you look kind of poor? You know what I mean? Like, like the poor suit that you kind of wear. Yeah, like it would yeah. be like a hodgepodge from yeah. the army kind of thing. Oh, okay. So he wouldn't be like sporting the best stuff. That's oh, okay, true. that's right. Oh, but yeah. you're wearing an army uniform or like part of it. But you're, you know, yeah, not... part of it. Yeah, and then he's got like the suspenders. Con like, so it's sort of like a weird eclectic pace sort of yeah, thing. You're, like, yeah, you're like wearing you. You're, you're wearing a uniform, but like casually. So it's like maybe yeah. like your shirt's unbuttoned or whatever, and see your suspenders. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, and, I'm trying to get a picture. Like, I can kind of, I can see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he's like pale with black hair. Um, and it's yeah done just like Tyler Durden kind of style. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think what would make the most sense is that it like pans up and he's kind of looking around, and then he has probably like a note that he looks at, 
and it's um he's looking for like it pans down and it'll say that person's name with like the like quotation marks for frog and i think what his uh actions should be is his longtime project which should be hunting for mercy that he learns about what these guys have done and killed him and then he'll be like stalking them through their downtime actions to see like what kind of people they are and then when they start the next score maybe that's when he like makes up his mind about them and engages with them but for now maybe every time they do a downtime action like if there was a picture taken of the scene we see like him in the background as well sort of like in fringe when there's like the bald guys and like all the historical events or whatever oh Except yeah it's been, like stalking them t- kind of thing yeah I, I like i like that idea especially um like you know how like noogie uh noogie uh it's uh maloka was <laughs> going around um said like paying like all information or whatever and stuff like yeah and like you like show up not that long after like looking around yeah, like, yeah. i'm like on the tails of things and just yeah. like stalking them yeah i like that a lot okay um Cool. Cool. Are you here's here's something I want to know. Uh, mm-hmm. Has anyone is anyone else on that trail? Would you know? Um, that be that would be the most interesting thing. So let's say yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, um, I have a friend that straw guy. So maybe we're both sort of working it. Yeah. Um, for personal reasons, and him probably for like. Maybe he's like, ooh, maybe he's sort of like undercover uh, military uh, working the case sort of like by the book kind of thing where I'm like off the books and like, you know, a vigilante kind of thing okay. about it. Yeah. So and then... He, he is, yeah, Strauss, a clever blade is what I have. For how me. would you find, so so would you consort with your friend? Like, how, Yeah, how? like I think we we maybe have like a a lodging or something and we both um you're basically like, gathering information yeah um, yeah with with like uh and can it be part of like a a larger clock that's like finding the killer kind of thing that i'm totally. trying to do yeah yeah So probably probably eight. take a while but and the yeah. killer's name is is like it goes by mercy yeah even though it's killing people in it. I don't want it to be like Jack the Ripper cult, like killing prostitutes, but I'll, I'll leave that to you to like, I'd like the, I'd like Mercy to have killed uh, somebody that I love, like probably wife and kid. And that's why I'm on the, the trail of it. Oh shit. But I want okay. like the, the methods of his killing to be like something unique and not like a super trope of the genre. Okay. Possibly. I'll think of something. So, uh, what are you doing to gather information? How are you doing it? I, I think I'm, like, stalking these guys. Like, I think they're the most obvious trail. Like, my only lead before was Frog. So, that sounds and, like you're hunting. Yeah, I but, think uh, so. <laughs> what, like, what action move are you using? Uh, let me see here. Um... Yeah, I think that I'm, like, stalking them, which would be hunting, I guess, right? Yeah, I mean, because you're trying to follow them and follow clues, so I think hunt makes more sense than, like, prowl. Uh, I would, yeah. I, but, I mean, if you can make a case for, you know, I'm not, I'm the GM, um, I don't get to tell you what action you want to take, right? Okay. All I get to tell you well, is just the effect and consequences uh, that, that you want, right? Right, um... Ooh, okay, well, how about I'm hitting the trail as he's, like, you know, I'm, like, an hour or two behind, and I'm interrogating these people, so it's more like a command thing, where I'm, like, scaring the shit out of them in my yeah. wake to yeah. get information. And, like... I like that. I think that he does it at, like, a pub or something like that, and it's, like, an Irish pub, and there's, like, a jig going on and all that kind of stuff. Yeah! And he talks to the people, and I, like, grab the guy's hand when I'm interrogating him, and for the command move, I take out my knife and do that thing between his fingers while I'm interrogating him, and it gets faster and faster. Hey, Irish, I feel you on that one. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. 
Oh, that's and really then, cool. Like, I'm like making eye contact, never flinching. And I'm like, you're going to tell me what you need to, to, to do. And I keep going like faster and faster and faster yeah. and like between his hands. Okay. And like, he's looking around and everybody else is having like a merry time and nobody cares. And yeah. we're just like, roll. 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 Oh my God, this so much. Like it. Yeah. yeah. You don't want a devil's bargain or anything like that? Um, you don't. Sure. You don't I, as a like out of character, I want to hit trauma this session because I have a specific trauma that I want to play out for the end scene of this game already. Okay. So, sure, devil bargain me up. <laughs> well, then you probably want to push yourself because that's how oh, you Oh, push trauma. myself for stress, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that. Um, so command plus one extra die plus two stress. Cool. Um... Still only a five, though. Yeah, I feel like some. I feel like five's like really hard to come up with something that doesn't like not take away from what you got. <laughs> um, yeah. So you definitely succeed, right? Let me look at the book real quick. Uh, so you definitely succeed. Um, he's going to tell you um, exactly what you wanted to know. Um, remind me again. What was the specific question? Um, I want to have information lead to the hound, and probably it's because. They know that he's an inspector, so they're like, "I'm not giving this guy up, right?" Like, oh yeah, he'll, he'll wreck my world, <laughs> kind of thing. But maybe the knife stops, and then he tells me what I want to know, and then maybe the repercussion is that uh, he'll let the hound know that I'm onto him, as well as he's embarrassed in front of all these other people, so they're they're gonna be mad at me. Yeah, no, I, I like that. I like that idea that he will, he would warn me. He would warn Maloko about you. Yeah. But, um, yeah. No, he totally gives you up that. There was some. Uh, he he heard he heard tales that there was some old man. Um, and and some ghost, that that killed all these guys. Um. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, Sweet. That that the the fighting in the six towers is the worst it's been in a very long time. Uh, mm -hmm. They say you know it's basically a war zone, but he said that um, there's there's some sort of uh he says like there's you know there's there's some sort of like demon that that prowls about that's that's they think is causing it and and he says he says it's something that some old man and it's a shadow is, is basically what they say well you know what else could be the repercussion too is maybe the knife that i use is my one from military forces so it has like as we like cut out and we he tells the hound about me it mm -hmm. zooms in on the knife and it says gtf2 so it like gives out like it kind of outs me that i'm all, like it gives more information to the yeah, hand so about military. me than I yeah. wanted. Okay. Because you can, like look up my records or, or whatever from that. Okay, cool. Yeah. So then, as a consequence, so like you get you get that information, and then like you know, uh, Maloko, you find out uh, not much longer after that, um, some soldier from the docks is is kind of getting on your trail. Yeah, I like that. So he gets the information, and he's like at this point, mostly filled this book. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not a huge book, but, you know, enough notes that it's going to look, you know, passable. He gets it. He gets told about it. Just pans over to his pistols. Just, hmm. Don't really want to have to shoot more people. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like how even though it's GTF2, you're just like, well... I hope I don't have to just blow this guy's brains out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll just pretend everything and convince them to do what we want. Of course. Yeah. That's, it always seems like the, uh, the, the same Here's thing. Here's a question. Has Maloko seen Dex in a while? No. I probably would have been happy, like in, in my downtime, aka the time that I haven't been playing, I would have been hanging around Badger and back at my mansion, just drinking away yeah. as much fine whiskey and scotch and brandy that I could. Yeah, I uh, assume I assume you would be just you know yeah uh, gallivanting in your own. Um, you know, I, I do um, my I my that, like, one point where we're both at the workshop. You were like drinking all merrily. Loco's on the other side. He's just solemn as hell. Yeah. Just in yeah. the, the lone mean, light, the lone light sitting over the desk as you're like scribbling away, trying to get everything yeah. on your book. Yeah, like this, this motherfucker. Like I pulled you know I mean? out some uh, super expensive. 
You're the incredibly roommate. Incredibly rare, like brandy, and this motherfucker just like sucks fucking down and get like nonstop. Like you're the. <laughs> oh my god, you're the roommate who like always wants to party, and then yes! Loco is like the one who wants to study. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm just sitting there like, dude, listen, I bought this 200 bottle, uh, 200 pound bottle of whiskey. We're gonna drink it all in one night. You ready? Yeah, and he's like, oh, but I have maths to study for. <laughs> Okay. Looks up from his book, just like, I, 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 I don't, I don't have time. But pleasure and obligation, dude. Okay, forget obligation. Pleasure, dude. <laughs> you, you do know what's happening, right? I don't care. I want a drink. Uh, <laughs> As a player, I don't know what's happening. Puts it to the side and he continues writing. I'll pour another one for you without even asking. <laughs> and I pour myself another one because I would have down mine as well. Another one. So does anybody want to? Does anybody want to like reduce stress or reduce more heat or what do they do for your rest of your day? I time? actually want to reduce my stress because it's really high. Yeah. Well, actually, um, it's not that high. Actually, like this is like right the point of blades where um, like we're right at the part where the giant wheel of Blades mechanics makes the full rotation. Like, like around, like, episodes, like, three, four, or five is when all your stress and all of your heat, like, you can't get rid of it all at the same time. So, like, this mm -hmm. is where, like, things change. What can I buy with rep? Um, you can spend rep like coin. And you so can also... Anything, you can do with coin. Someone yeah, so I, I, I can spend, like, I can spend We still have five. Coin. You can acquire... I, uh, yeah. You can acquire as, assets. As, you can do anything. And the, and Dex would definitely be the one that would want multiple assets all around, right? Like, oh, yeah, sure. like I network kind of thing. For yep. sure. As a businessman, I kind of like I want to stick my hand in wherever I can and just be yeah. like, you know, you owe me a favor and you owe me a favor and this is that. Yeah, finger so, in every pot. Let me just take a look at a bit. I would like to acquire an asset. Asset. Sorry. Uh, roll the cruise tier. The results indicate the quality of the asset. So, so what is our cruise tier right now? Your tier zero. zero. Oh no no no, okay. no 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 no! It's tier one now. It's it's oh, tier yeah. one. I gave you guys up to tier one because of Fraser. So I roll what? One to six. <laughs> oh, well, I I just say for the purposes of downtime actions, it counts. You're all at one. I don't want to punish you. I'd be like, so, so at the end I, of your downtime, I, you become one. No, just just do it for this time. So I roll one one d six. Yeah. Okay, slash roll 1d6. And I got a 6! <laughs> so I get an exceptional asset, according to the PDF. Yes. Um, and what were you going so for? I don't going for know. So let me, let me, let me talk to you. All right, dude. All right, just so you guys... So no, next time, before you roll anything, tell me what you're going for. What is your this intention is here? I know you wanted to gather, like, people around the city. Yeah. But like, um, what? You already so got Madame Tesselin, right? Like, Madame Tesselin's in your pocket. I have Madame Tesselin, and she's pretty dope. And she's in the night market. Um, I think so. She's she's uh she runs like the she red runs lamp. The whole house. Yeah. Right. Like, no, no, she's she's in like, um uh, no, she's actually over in Silkshore. Silkshore. Yeah, she's way up. You know uh, how Maloko is getting? Uh, he's under investigation right now. Yeah. You should uh, you should get buddy buddy with uh, the person doing that. Yeah. Who am I getting buddy buddy with? Sorry. Oh, Whoever's the inspector. Doing an investigation on Maloka. Yeah. Like... Okay. So who who is doing the investigation on Maloka? Do we have a name? You tell uh, us. It probably it probably <laughs> wouldn't be the inspector from Charter Hall. It'd probably be like a subsidiary of him. Um, okay. Let's see. So like a, probably like a like a like a. Um, kind of like what, a, like an XO, like a sergeant, like, yeah, like an executive. No, like a higher than that, like executive officer would oversee this. Um, okay, I'm so just like the, one good below, name. the one um, below, like district. Uh, yeah, district manager kind of thing. Um, yeah, let's go with um, officer, officer Denkirk. Can it look like Tadira? <laughs> I'm okay um, with that. So, Officer Denkirk. So, yeah. although I, I know that um, Old Maloko is being interrogated, and because he's being interrogated, I decide to show my face, you know, just a little interfere a little bit, um, put my word in, and maybe sway a few people towards believing one thing or another. Um, 
And I, I start talking to Officer Jane Kirk and I'm just starting to make like small talk with him and um, I, I exploit um, weaknesses in his uh, personality. So things that he's like actually interested in, I start speaking about passionately as if I was interested in them as well. Um, even though I'm not, I don't even give a fuck about what he's interested in. <laughs> sure, of right? course, you're just social engineering um, him. But um, like, you know, I've grown up amongst nobles and people are talking about their fishing exports and like all of this shit that I don't give a fuck about. Oh my God. But, Oh my god! You know, I can, I can, I can bullshit my way yeah. through any compilation. Um, so. to just to, to buy to build this into like maybe maybe you, like you saw him around whenever you were gallivanting because he has a taste for like the finer finer drinks or whatever and stuff like that. So you're like, oh my god, you're yeah. drinking fucking black uh, black label Scoblin whatever too. Oh my god, like <laughs> yes. yeah, you know what I mean, like something like that. Yeah, um, I see you know. him at the bar, and I'm like, I, I see him like across the other side of the bar. Oh, it's not a bar; it's a club. Let's be let's be let's be real here. You're you don't go to bars. You go to clubs. You go to establishments. You go to institutions. Good, good, good man. It's good probably man. high class too with someone like yeah. playing the piano. Oh, yeah. no, I, I see him. On, I see him on the VIP level. We've got yeah. our own bar for the VIPs, and I've ordered my drink, and I look down the bar for like this VIP section of this club and I see him drinking the other side and I see he's ordered a very similar drink or the same drink as to what I have. I raise a cheers to him um, and then we drink together and yeah, game yeah. asset. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right. um, I think I think at that part though, because it's a little bit it's a little bit over an hour now, we're gonna go our first break. So we'll oh, be back. Nice. Yeah, awesome. we'll be back um, and finish up our downtime and get into some missions for today. So thank you guys yeah. so much, and we'll see you guys in five minutes. And that just like sailed through, huh? Yeah, it really does. So quick. What's this guy's name? Officer.